What to do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. So, three letter man was on faces along with Verb, Joy McCoy, Bill Collector, um, and Easy to Block Captain. Once again, them brothers began to expose him on being a groupie and a flunky. What do I mean by that? So, apparently, Verb had an interview with Lupe Fiesco. And as a result of having an interview, I guess three was on the panel. And they were saying like how thirsty he was going out of his way, trying to get him to come over to the channel. So Jordan McCoy was just letting it be known. And they basically were saying how three would do anything, anything, even to the point of giving up his manhood for battle rap and interviews same thing we've been saying for the longest but you know it's crazy i don't get bro i really don't man i don't get bro that that's crazy and he older than all of them i don't get that at all bro i could never lure myself stand just like that bro but apparently it is what it is and like i said it's crazy because at one point you know because at one point Bro wouldn't even been going for that stuff. He, 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 bro, like, come on, man. It's terrible. So they all on there calling him groupies. They all be doing it. Easy, be basically showing how much of a groupie and flunky he is. Verb do it. You get what I'm saying? Now Gerald McCoy saying it. So then three. And Bird was talking, and Bird basically was just speaking about um, Swamp. And in speaking about Swamp, he was basically just talking about basically Bird be lying about a lot of stuff. So three was trying to defend Swamp. Then Bird basically was telling three, like, man, I don't want to hear that. Like, F all y'all niggas. Suck my, you know. This what he's saying to three on the panel, even though three gonna try to act like Bird wasn't talking to him, but he was. He was, in fact, you was the only one he was talking to. And in the midst of y'all talking, he was like, F all y'all, speaking about you, speaking about you, and all y'all dudes could suck my. That's what he said. You know the crazy thing about that? He mean it. He mean that with all his heart. Listen, he mean that with all his heart. Pay attention to the guys who are inviting y'all to their penises. Them dudes' backgrounds be showing that they mean that. That's why they say that. They want to speak it into existence. We Again, I don't care what nobody say. We talking about the same bird who was on the live with three for 40 minutes in his own house at least we thought that doing the interview 30 minutes in when unexpectedly his door fly open and a guy come in who don't know he on live but coming home on some honey i'm home type stuff and says to him while looking him in his eyes Hey, baby, give me some of that mother effing head, baby. That happened for real. No cap in real life. Nobody could fix it, twist it up to make it seem like it didn't happen. It happened. So apparently he's some type of bottom. He 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 a, 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 a nigga's girlfriend type stuff. I don't care how much y'all like the raps or you like the faces, that happened. We got the footage, we got the video, we slowed it down, speeded it up, clip by clip. That happened. So when he said that to three, he meant it. He meant it.
That's crazy to me. And he's sitting up there, 40 some year old man, while Ver addressing him like that. And you just accepting it and allowing it. Just so that you don't rub him the wrong way. You don't offend. So he could disrespect you, but you can't defend yourself in fear of offending him when disrespecting you. And he do that to you because according to Bird, he know this anyway. Well, since we be throwing you little crumbs and you are a little flunky and we use you to do whatever we want you to do, I'm allowed to disrespect you when I feel like it. I'm allowed to expose you in front of an audience when I want to. And I dare you to try to say something back because I need the content anyway. They always remind three of how they really feel about him even though he tried to ignore it and sweep it under the rug and really believe he really friends and cool with these guys. He really believed that. Even though they remind him that when it's all said and done, you ain't really nothing. But we can get you to lie for us. We could get you to give us wins we didn't really deserve. We could get you to actually sacrifice your own manhood for our company like bro how that don't bother you as a man like come on like 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 you talking about compromise like that's crazy but again i understand it i get it i know it comes with this life i know the thing that happens when it comes to this internet. I know most of these guys before the internet didn't even have a social background, not respected in their communities, don't really have real friends in their life. If you notice, look, how, how could guys be on, think about this, here's common sense, like I always told people, how can guys be on the internet all these years? Nobody from the neighborhood pop stopped by? pop up not a friend from high school not a homie you was on the block with not none of your people at all unexpectedly these people blogging for hours at their homes in their own cities no family members unexpectedly pops up no homies none Something always rubbed me the wrong way with that. Something wrong with that picture. Something wrong with that picture. I didn't been on this internet, man, and y'all didn't literally seen over thirty something people, like literally over thirty something different people, literally. <laughs> like, come on, y'all be seeing me blog. Y'all can hit a, hit the a door, the door. You hear the dog barking. You hear the alarm system go off like come on because this stuff don't be planned through a rehearse but most of these dudes didn't even have a social background before the internet the internet gave them friends the internet gave them a voice that's why they don't care about being sodomized over the damn internet they'll sell you out they don't have no loyalty. They don't have no devotion. These people just want a, want a way to come up. They want to come up. Simple as that. I never sell out for this internet. Ever. I don't care how bad things get for me. I'm going to make it happen. But again, he going to sit there and ignore it. He going to always act like it ain't what it is. And he going to make it seem like Bird wasn't talking to him. He was talking to you, okay? Not going to let you slide with that. Not going to let you get away with that. You was the only one he was up there talking to. And he made it clear when he said, y'all, he was talking about you because you was the only one talking to him. So he meant, meant it when he was talking about you. And I'm not going to even play the trash. We just know it. 
you need to come up out of that, bro. Like something is wrong with you, bro. You act like you you wasn't loved as a child child before. You act like, bro, you you don't know how to be a man on your own, bro. Like, come on, you can't. I can't respect a person like that, man. I I can't respect a person like that. I mean, I mean, to each his own, but how you want me to respect you when you ain't respecting yourself? If them dudes could say that type of stuff to you, but then again, we talking to the guy who said it, you said it to Sirius Jones. Now it's being said to you. Crazy. I don't get that though, bro. Like, I really don't get that at all. You ain't the dude who, when I first came to battle rap, who I met, the guy who was talking that real stuff to me, like, no, no, this is entirely different, bro. That stuff, that stuff crazy, like, oh my gosh, I can never be like that. You dudes, boy, woo I can't do it. You let that man just straight disrespect and expose you like that. And what's crazy, everybody on there know you like a groupie or flunky. And it ain't even no secret. I think at this point, you don't even deny it. You just embrace it and you comfortable with it. You embrace it and you comfortable with it. And as long as you can get, get them to keep letting you up on their faces and do interviews with you, you don't care. You don't care at all. It is what it is. Here, take it. Take it. Bang the gavel on your damn self. Don't worry. I'm going to do it for you. No. No. No, 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 no. No. Man, get out of here with that trash, bro. Terrible, man. Terrible. Again. If a man don't respect himself, how do you expect for me to respect him? 